Welcome again. Today we continue our topic, design of sequential circuits. The design steps of a sequential circuits are obtain the specification of the desired circuit, derived a state diagram, derived the corresponding state table, and sometimes we start from the state table, reduce the number of states if that is possible, Decide on the number of state variables. Determine the number of flip-flops and choose their types. Derive the logical expressions needed to implement the circuit. And finally, draw the circuit diagram. I will demonstrate these steps through an example. Here is the state diagram and we are asked to design the sequential circuits using, for example, JK flip-flops. First, we derive the state table for the given state diagram. We have here six states, A, B, C, D, E, F. One input, we name it, for example, X, and one output, Y. Now, if we are in the state A, and the input X is zero, then the next state is B, here, and the output is one. From A, if the input is one here, then the next state is C, and the output is zero. If the present state is B here, and the input x is zero, then the next state is F, and the output is zero. If, however, the input is one, then the next state is D, and the output is zero. Here we have it. We obtain the remaining entries of the state table in the same manner. Here is the final state table for the given state diagram. Now we look for reduction if that is possible. For that, we have to scan the state table. A is not equivalent to B since the next states under the same inputs are not the same and the generated outputs are not the same. And it is not equivalent to C, D, E, but it is equivalent to F, since under the same inputs, X equals zero. The next state is B, and the output is one. And under X, one, the next state is C, and the outputs are zeros. So we can remove state F here and replace the occurrence of F by state A. Here we replace F by A. If we scan the state table again, we can find out that states B and E are equivalent as well. So we can remove state E and replace its occurrence with the state B. In this table, we haven't any equivalent states, so this is the reduced state table. And here we have the state diagram after reduction. In the state table, we have four states, so we need two bits to assign each state. We can assign the states in different ways. Here is one way. We assign 0, 0 to A, 0, 1 to B, 1, 0 to C, and one, one, two, D. And here we have the state table after the state assignment. Now we have some information about the sequential circuit. First, since we have four states, then we need two flip-flops. The circuit has one input, X, and one output, Y. Here is the first skeleton of the sequential circuit. We have two flip-flops of type J, K, A, and B, one input to the circuit and one output from the circuit. Now our task is to find out the values of G, A, K, A, G, B, K, B, and the output Y. Here is the excitation table for the circuit. Given the present state for the 
two flip-flops and the next state we have to find out the inputs of these flip-flops to do that we have to remember the excitation table for the jk flip-flop here is the excitation table for the jk flip-flop now we have to find out the values of G A K A J B K B. For the A flip flop, Q A from zero to zero, the inputs J K are zero X, and from zero to one, the inputs are one X. From zero to zero, we have zero X. From zero to one, this is state, one x. From one to one, we have x zero. From one to zero, here, x one. And again, from one to zero, x one. And the last row, again, from one to zero, x one. Next, we have to find out j, b, and k, b. Here, q, b, zero. The next state is one. Then from zero to one, we have one X. From zero to zero, we have zero X. From one to zero, we have X one. From one to one, X zero. From zero to one, one X. Again, from zero to one, one X. From one to zero, X one and from one to one x zero we can use k maps to derive the simplified expressions for the flip-flop inputs j a equals one on one term one here zero one term three here and do not care on min terms four five six seven so j a equals two x k a equals x on the first four min terms then zero and here we have three ones so k a equals x or q b next j b j b here equals one here zero x x one one x x so j b equals two q a or not x next q b here x x one zero x x one zero so here q b equals not x and y equals one on min terms zero and here three zeros one one zero one it is y equals not q b not x or x q a now we have the expressions for the flip flop inputs and for the output y here are again these expressions and we can use them to obtain the circuit diagram this is the sequential circuit designed using jk flip-flops as you see here we apply to j a x to k a x or q b to j b q a or q b and to k b not x and the expression for y is not x not q b or x q a as an exercise you can perform the analysis procedure on this sequential circuit to check if you will obtain the same state table and the state diagram for today thank you